How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to remove objects and uh, fix some stitching inside of uh, Adobe After Effects and the workflow process to Premiere. As you can see here, this is what the end result is going to be, uh, removing all these objects, people, etc. So uh, we'll just jump right into After Effects here. Uh, these are the stitch shots. Um, so if you aren't familiar with the intro process of working with stitching uh, VR video, um, there's definitely a bunch of tutorials already on YouTube you can check out. Um, so this is more of the post process in uh, VR video and I'm still learning myself so if there's anything that you guys see that I'm doing that is um, could be done better more efficiently please let me know in the comments. So right now bring this into After Effects just finding the same time code uh, that I have in Premiere and loading that in, into a new comp here. So once you hit new add 2D edit um, this opens up a new uh, edit composition here with a VR camera so you can actually look around in the 360 environment within the After Effects comp. So the first shot we'll work on here is the tripod. Um, so really basically just open up uh, the clone tool into the um, pre-comp here and just start, just start working. If you move the camera at all in this angle, uh, it, the clone um, paint moves with it. So you don't want to move the camera in this situation. So once that's done, we have our uh, edited shot here. One thing to note is um, After Effects creates a new uh, output folder. It should be named the same as your composition. And in that folder, you have uh, your VR output and you have your VR edit. And I see when I click on my VR output here, it has that edit um, into it and you see the, uh, the tripod's gone. What I'm doing here is doing a new edit on our output and that's gonna create another uh, edit to which we're working in here. So for this instance, I'm gonna use uh, masking here. So for masking, uh, what we're gonna do is use a different point in the shot where I have a plate that I can use that I'm not standing in. So just grabbing a section here. Um, so what I'm doing here now is dragging that um, section of that clip into its own new composition, um, making a new edit point there so it's in that same VR space. It has its own camera. Uh, and then bringing that edit into our edit too. So you kind of got an edit um, sort of camera layer that's already in its own VR um, space if any of that makes sense. Um, and then just lining it up with our pre-comp. And then basically just masking that out. You can get the camera in the exact same space and you probably wouldn't need to um, rearrange where it is so that it matches up. Um, in this case, my camera's a little off, so I um, tried to rearrange it. Here looks good for me. And then just feathering that out and there you go. Um, again, don't if you move the camera in this situation here, um, you'll see that it offsets it. And all it is is just creating layers, right? So if you're moving the camera, your layer is not moving with it. And uh, go back to our output and we now have our tripod gone as well as myself standing there. And then it's just a, a matter of kind of rehashing the same process. Um, creating a new 2D edit over that output, gets a new edit going, masking these guys out. So the only thing here left um, that I wanna fix is a, a stitching issue. Um, this is, um, you know, in case, um, just instead of going back and restitching, which, you know, of course you can do, um, just want to show that it is, you know, possible to just clean up. It's not going to look perfect, but um, doing my best here. Playing around with either cloning or I played with some masking, it wasn't really working. Um, the other thing too, you'll notice that I cleaned out the tripod that was sticking out in that, in that specific frame there too. Um, so when you're doing edits over edits, even though you cloned out, painted out the tripod in, the, in let's say edit two, um, if your edit five overlaps, it 
it's taking the, the, the original frame and re-adding, right? So it's almost like you're painting over different sections. Um, so here we have our final shot, uh, exporting it. Just my export settings, just doing QuickTime uh, DNX uh, HD codec, RGB. Um, Plugging this into here to the timeline. I have some effects going on in Premiere here. Just a simple overlay with the masking tool works pretty well, actually. Um, when you see that it's, it's completely stretched out here, um, the VR uh, rotates sphere, allows you to change it so it shifts it so that um, the center, you can just change the center here, and uh, my offline shot was centered differently. So here now we have it in and uh, that's it it's all cleaned up tripod gone people are gone uh, okay guys um, thanks for watching uh, I hope it was useful or entertaining um, this is a short film that is uh, working on right now it's coming out soon if it's already out you can check it out on YouTube depending on when you're watching this um, please leave a like if you liked it, subscribe for more. If you have any questions or anything I've done in the video, love to hear from you. And uh, if you want to see some more of these uh, videos, please let me know. Check out some of my other videos on the channel and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.